This is five minute daily mobility for desk workers. Follow along for the details of this video, the why and how to do it properly. Check out the link above. Otherwise, let's get into the five minutes. Here we go, five minutes on the clock. We're gonna scoot to the edge of the chair and we're gonna start with the neck first. So up nice and tall and we're gonna do that chin tuck straight back. One, two, three. And remember if it hurts at all, just touch the pain. Don't force it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Keep your spine up nice and tall. We're gonna tuck it in and then lift the head up and back for one. Remember if it hurts, just touch the pain. Chin tuck, look up, two. Chin tuck, look up, three, four. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed, you're not shrugging up. Five, six, seven. And these last few, chin tuck, look back. Get a little breath out. A little wiggle in your head from side to side. Eight. Chin tuck, look back. Nine. And 10. Back, 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 back. Wiggle, 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 and breathe out. Good. Next is mid back. So let's get our arms bent 90 degrees. Open up the hands like we're praying. And let's open up the shoulders first and get that feeling. And then we'll add the proud chest or pointing the chest forward like Superman. And well, here we go. We'll go one, two, three, four, be up tall, make sure you're not slouching. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and let's breathe out in the last one. 10, hold, and push it a little further. Remember, you can add the chin tuck with that as well. All right, onto the low back. We're gonna do our J-Lo booty and plumber butts, all right? So we're gonna arch up and slouch down. Remember, not full slouch, not full arch. We're gonna go at 25% and 75%, not zero and 100. So let's go with the J-Lo and plumber, that's one. J-Lo, plumber, two, three, four, five. Remember if it's spicy or hurts, just kind of kiss the pain. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good, plenty of time on the clock, we're at 236. We'll do the standing back bend last. We're gonna go with the piriformis or hip stretch. Take the right leg, cross over the left knee, just like this here. Okay, and, and nice and proud chest, stay tall. Lean your chest forward till you feel a stretch, hold there. And let's give a little extra stretch and back off for one, two, three, rocking, four, and then five, hold that stretch. And from here, we're gonna do three of these. Push your ankle and knee down into your leg. Push down, hold, take a deep breath. And breathe out, sink a little further. Good, push down again, hold, deep breath. Breathe out, relax. A little further, last one, push down, breathe. And breathe out, a little further. Good, switch sides. Left ankle over right knee, cross the leg. Push that knee down, proud chest, lean forward, find that stretch, and now it's back off and forth. Oscillate it, one, two, three, four, and five. Hold that stretch, push the knee and ankle down, push, take a deep breath, hold, and breathe out. Relax and lean forward, feel that further stretch. Do it again, press the knee and ankle down, Deep breath, breathe out, relaxing forward. Last one, push down, deep breath, hold, breathe out, relax and lean forward, keeping that proud chest. Good, phenomenal stretch there. And lastly, we're gonna stand up with one minute in the clock and we're gonna take your hands, put it, find those bony dimples with your thumbs and then separate the feet shoulder width apart. If your butt's squeezing a lot, point your toes a little bit inward and we're going to push the hips forward or pelvis forward for one, and then two, pelvis forward, lean back, three, four, five, and six. I feel it opening up, I'm gonna go a little further. Seven, eight, and these last two, let's get a little breath out at the end. Nine, good, and then 10, Awesome, and look at that, 15 more seconds on the clock. 
There we have it, five minutes, less than five minutes daily mobility for desk workers. You can repeat this any time of the day. I recommend doing it at least once a day and then do it more if you need to. Or you can just pick pieces of this and just do it repetitively throughout the day if you'd like. But do not forget, maintain all that work you did and your posture support by using a lumbar roll so that way your posture is relaxed in the S shape for safety and you're not falling into the trap of the C shape catastrophe. And if you got through this video and you missed it, the details of what we did here are in this video here or over here, I'm not sure where it's at. Go ahead and check that out so you make sure you're doing this right because how you do it matters.